welcome to my channel and to another mini planning grocery haul. I struggled this week. I don't know why. I just could not think of anything. Even though I have each day set, you know, for what I want to make that day be for whatever, I still struggled trying to think of something. I kept falling asleep while I was doing <laughs> <laughs> while I was doing it. So I come in here and took a nap. Finally banged it out. So let's just get started. For Wednesday, which is today, I still have a prep of French toast for breakfast and a prep of the cauliflower for lunch. And then while Wednesday, we're just having crock pot chicken and rice with some asparagus. I don't know if I'll fry it in the pan, you know, saute it in the pan. Or if I'll roast it in the oven. I hadn't decided. Then for Thursday, I have my last French toast prep for breakfast. And my last French toast cauliflower. Or French toast cauliflower. <laughs> cauliflower bad enough. I don't know. Maybe that'd fix it. <laughs> no. Cauliflower can do lots of things. But <laughs> French toast, I don't think is one of them. My lunch cauliflower, I still have, that'll be my last one of those. And then for chicken Thursday, this is a recipe, garden stir fry. That is in one of my old church cookbooks where I grew up from a lady named Tootie and some speckled butter beans. Friday, I think I'll just have an egg sandwich with either some bacon or grits on the side. I have not decided. Whatever I feel like that morning. For lunch, I still have some pimento cheese that needs to be used up. And I'll probably have some pickles with that and maybe a, a boiled egg. Then for beef Friday, for supper, Sloppy Joe's spaghetti squash casserole. That is a Weight Watchers recipe I got off the Weight Watchers app oh, a couple years ago. Time flies, I'll tell you. Probably was two years ago. I did it for a uh, collab, I think is what I did it for a collab. And then it turned out we liked it. So I've made it several times since. And some lima beans. Then Saturday, breakfast will be my prep, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm just going to repeat the same lunch and see if I can use up the rest of that pimento cheese. And then for takeout Saturday, I was trying to think, how what would I call this? Because we want to do some rotisserie chickens. Holly and her husband were over here Mother's Day. They didn't bring the baby. She walked to the door and said, where's that baby? She said he was taking a nap. And so I took the opportunity to take a moment. I'm like, she said, I told you if we walk in the door without Jacob, Mama's going to get us. <laughs> so I did get to see him two times earlier in the week, so I, I let her have a pass. Anyway, they were talking about doing rotisserie chickens. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forget that we had that rotisserie out in the building from the 80s, the Ron Popeil Showtime rotisserie. My mama had got me and my brother one, and we'll pull it out, you know, over the years, but it's like out of sight, out of mind, and it's too big to store in the house. So I keep it out in the building, the garage, whatever you want to call it. I said, I feel like doing some rotisserie chicken. And Holly's husband was like, pulled up the phone. He goes, is this it? I'm like, yeah. He goes, that's the one we got. <laughs> so we're going to do some rotisserie chickens. I'm like, takeout, grocery store. We get our rotisserie chickens from the grocery store. That's takeout to me because I didn't make it. The grocery store, they made it in their rotisserie. So our takeout Saturday is rotisserie chickens from the grocery store that we're making at home. And I'm just going to make some fried corn. I think I have a recipe on my website for fried corn, which uses like milk cream. What, however your diet's going, it depends on what you want to use in it. The Re recipe that I made when I first started making it was like heavy cream so we don't do that anymore but I never could figure out why it was called fried except for you cook it in the pan this is fried corn this is how I used to make it in my first marriage <laughs> so it's really fried in the pan not deep fried but then some okra and then Sunday going back to our typical stuffed french toast and some chicken sausage and eggs. My lunch will be prep. We'll talk about that in a minute. For sa sandwich Sunday, we are going to have Big Mac tacos. That's something new. I thought of it, and I wrote myself a note. Um, don't forget to do it. So I went on the internet, typed in Big Mac tacos. Oh, Lord, everybody does a Big Mac taco. 
<laughs> so I found one that instead of having to make it up myself, I found one that sounded good. So we're going to try it. And then some sweet potatoes. Mindy, prep for breakfast, prep for lunch. And then I'm going to do meatless Monday. I'm going to do my hobo supper again. But instead of pinto beans, I'm going to do white beans just to mix it up a little bit. And that'll be with fried potatoes and onions and greens. Then Tuesday, breakfast and lunch will be prep. Turkey Tuesday, I'm going to do almost hamburger steaks. I don't think I've ever showed y'all those. Way back early in our marriage, David ate turkey. I ate turkey. I was not no ground turkey person. Everything was ground beef. I was not no ground chicken person. David's the one that introduced these things to me back way. Listen, we're talking early 90s, mid 90s. And so he, he bought a block of um, turkey and he just cut it into four pieces. He didn't chop it up, mush it up, make a patty out of it. He just cut it into four pieces. Threw it in the pan, hit it with some onion salt. Back then we were using accent. We can't use accent now because, well, we hadn't used accent in years because the accent is just MSG and that swells us up like the Chinese food does. Well, when he made those that first time, I'm like, honey, these almost taste like a hamburger steak. So that's how they got their name. Almost hamburger steaks. They're just turkey. <laughs> I thought that's a good thing to make on Turkey Tuesday. And I thought we'd have some cream potatoes with it. I figure I'm thinking I'm going to make some of my gravy, my gravy mix. I have a chicken gravy mix and a beef gravy mix. I will link all these recipes below. And then some green beans. So that is it for the week. Now for, for prep, I struggled with prep. I don't know why. That, that was the hardest part of my menu was figuring out prep. Well, for breakfast, I'm going to make David's breakfast casserole. This is a casserole he made when he was on the road, not home every night. He had to go out of town for days at a time. And he would pack his whole lunch, breakfast, lunch, supper. He packed everything. And this was, I don't even know where he found this casserole. But it was his, and he made it to take with him. That's how come it got the name David's. And then lunch... That is going to be rotisserie chicken sandwiches, barbecue. I'll just throw some barbecue sauce on it. Rotisserie chicken sandwiches, and I'm going to make some slaw and then have some cucumbers on the side. I'm not going to make like French fries. I'm not going to have chips. That chips would be the obvious choice. <laughs> We're not going to do that. And then snack, nothing I'm going to prep. I'm going to buy some of that salsa from Harris Teeter and um, make some pita chips. I have a couple pitas left that need to be used up. And so that is it for my week. My groceries this week will come from Harris Teeter. As long as they have everything, that'll be the only place. So, let's turn around and look at those groceries. So, here's what we got at Harris Teeter. Our skim milk and... I'm sorry, Joan. They didn't have them other almond milks, so I went back to my favorite. And my half and half and fat-free half and half, I had to mix them because they don't have the light cream like Food Line does. And then nobody else has this. The zero added sugar hazelnut latte to add to my cold brew. I've not had one in a while, so I treated myself. Needed some sharp cheddar cheese. Just so happened this was buy one get one free. So I did the 2% milk. And then David was just about out of his cheese slices. And you know that's his favorite. And the eggs. Boy, I tell you, eggs have really gone up, haven't they? And then his yogurts, they didn't have the flavors he wanted because each store has different flavors. All the stores don't have the same flavors. So I did get him ones he likes, though. And then this was probably the deal of the day. Buy two, get three free, the Laughing Cows. I didn't see them in the ad. I looked at the ad last night, and I didn't see them, but they were out on the table. You know these don't have to be refrigerated? They are not refrigerated at the Harris Teeter. So I, I can just put these in the cabinet until we need them. But I was wondering to myself, wonder if David needs any more because he likes to eat these with those wheat thins. And they had a table full and the sign. So I bought two and got three free. And then we needed more butter. So, because remember last week I bought the little two pack that I didn't realize I was getting. Then I needed some gum. They didn't have the kind I wanted. So I'm going for this. Um, oh, it's got something in the middle. Mentos. Maybe that's why David likes Mentos. This is the watermelon. I don't know if it's watermelon mint. It says pure fresh. I guess we'll see, won't we? And then this chicken is for our 
crock pot chicken and rice tonight and I have enough chicken in the freezer for the other meal or two and then the ground turkey is for our almost hamburger steaks and then I'm not going to take them out of the bag but I got my two whole chickens here that we're going to rotisserie as luck would have it they were on sale for 99 cents a pound so I got two which I was going to get anyway because two fits in the thing and then I'm um, just about out of instant brown rice so I just went ahead and grabbed two of those I was out of chicken broth in the can and I needed one more beef broth in the can because I like to have two in the cabinet at all times and then I needed some more little small tomato sauce and just about out of pickles there's a recipe the Big Macs the um, Big Mac tacos they take some chopped pickles and I just want to make sure I didn't run out and then for the garden stir fry I needed a small squash and a small zucchini then I needed some cucumbers Let's see what we got here. Let's look. We got some okra. That's frozen. And then frozen greens. I got the shredded cabbage for my slaw. The shredded lettuce for the um, talk, what, what was it? Big Mac tacos. And then the green and red butter lettuce for flair. I've been giving her iceberg, and it's really better if she has a, a different kind of lettuce than that. And then they had their bidets on sale, but the five-pound bag was cheaper per pound than what they had them on sale for loose. So I just went ahead and got that bag because, you know, we go through onions around here. And then a big old bag of taters, spaghetti squash for our sloppy joe thing, and some bananas, which are not quite ready to eat, and a head of lettuce because... There just might be an impromptu salad needed or something. And some asparagus. And this little tray of phone ringing. Hold on. Okay, a little tray of tomatoes. Here's the fresh sauce I got for um, snacks. And for sweet potatoes on Saturday night, they were on sale. But, oh my gosh, all of them were huge. That way too big for us to eat one by ourselves. So I got this big one to split because they're they're all too, way too big for one person. And then I got the whole wheat buns for my rotisserie chicken sandwiches and some more pitas. These are just whole grain pitas. They were out of the Joseph's, but these are um, stone ground wheat, whole wheat to make chips because I still have two I need to use up, but I'll, I'll need more than that with the salsa. So that's what I got this week. I hope you're having a good hunt day. I will see you. Um, oh, I'll see you tomorrow for weigh in. Oh, joy. <laughs> that gives you a hint what it's going to be. <laughs> so I'll see you then.